So it's like a castle wall just that runs throughout Old Town. So it's mm. pretty cool. It's and really amazing. <laughs> We love discovering new things on long walks and so we began our day taking a wander through Old Town and found a fantastic milk bar along the way. And one thing we always love to do is trying something on the menu that's unfamiliar. Okay, I'm going to give these ones a go. They're actually not pierogi, I think it's more like a potato dumpling. Mm. It's almost like mochi. <laughs> really yummy. It's like a savoury mochi. Gnocchi? Hmm? Gnocchi tasty? No, like mochi. Not like a gnocchi? Yeah, maybe like gnocchi, I don't know. Mm. Okay. Mochi. You don't know gnocchi? Yeah, but I've never really had it. Okay. So you're too obsessed with gnocchi. Hi, I'm Rachel from South Korea. I'm Nick from Australia. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to be a part of our travels around the world. Very quiet here, no music, nothing. Very bad, but very retro here. Yeah? But look at the table there. Mm. I love it. That's a pierogi. It's yummy. Mm. Mm. This is the first time to try boiled pierogies. I can't decide which one I like, fried or boiled. Mm. Both are amazing. everywhere all over my jacket too many too many but lucky it's my uniqlo waterproof jacket oh. Oh, help me that was crazy that was intense we then hopped on over to the Barbican, which is filled with history and also a great vantage point to see some great views of the city. So one place we highly recommend is the Barbican. So it's like a castle wall just that runs throughout Old Town. So it's pretty cool. And it's really amazing. Oh, oh. Baby, you... We both, we both <laughs> fell down there. That's crazy. Oh, no. You gave me <laughs> a heart both, attack. That gave me a heart attack. That wasn't, cool. that wasn't good. Um, so it's a really cool wall that you can just kind of check out and walk along, um, taking the sights of Old Town. <laughs> oh, okay. That was too scary. That, that scared me. Here you see Rachel planning the perfect shot for our Instagram feed. The houses on the opposite side of the Barbican are just so colorful and pretty. It really is a perfect backdrop for photography or just for taking in some wonderful views while going on a walk. I was trying to get the best Instagram shot I'll show you here. Oh no, I kind of risked my life. It was too scary. Uh, don't get on these bricks. I mean, I thought these bricks can... Uh, I, I thought it's gonna be lower. Nah, it goes up. And you know, there's no way to get back. So I had to kind of jump up and it was too scary. The Barbican really has a fairy tale vibe as you take a wander around this massive structure. It's located right in the center of town and another great thing is, is that there's no steep stairs or hill to climb which is perfect for unfit people like us who struggle with steep climbs, probably due to us eating massive amounts of pierogi. You can also see some amazing art for sale. Here's a sneaky little peek at the paintings. Now we are in the famous street, no weed. Now we pres actually I forgot what it was called. <laughs> We're hopeless. Okay. It's a good street, everyone. It's okay. a good street. This street kind of reminds us uh, for me, Notting Hill, and for you. For me, it kind of reminds me of Pilsen in um, Czech. Oh, I think it's more Notting Hill. It mm. looks very fancy. It does. It's got a lot of fancy shops. And That's restaurants. And Starbucks, of course. Starbucks, Starbucks of course. is always everywhere. It's funny, Starbucks is because they're kind of uh, one of the fanciest co coffee shops everywhere except for Australia. It doesn't work in Australia, Starbucks, so I don't know if you know about that. 
Melbourne Fish. people are really picky. We really coffee. stick stick to our hipster cafes in Melbourne. It's a totally different to old town. Yeah, it's very different. It's actually really nice. It's really straight and it's really wide sidewalks. So it's wide. really easy to walk down. Oh. Yeah, that's actually, I'm really liking this street. What do you think? Yeah. Nick, Nick tripped a bit and then I faked the tripping. Just to tease me. <laughs> to and then someone someone thought that Rachel tripped for real and they're actually a bit worried about it. Oh, they're like, oh, like, and I was like, uh oh, I so, pranked him a bit. Yeah, Rachel was trolling me and she was pranking someone else at the same time. No. Um, as you can see too, there's a lot of buses in um, Poland. There's buses everywhere, good trams. Yeah, really good public transport. Oh, I love the streets here, it's really nice. Even the side streets coming off the main street were full of interesting shops and eateries. It seemingly never ends with endless amounts of restaurants, cafes and designer stores. Very eccentric. It's quite interesting actually. It's like a bit of everything here. It's a bit posh but also it's got a bit of its kind of roughness to it. I don't know, I what? like it. It's pretty cool. Posh? It's almost like a, I don't know. To me I can only compare it to a rougher yeah. South Sierra in Melbourne. This is a whole another section of Warsaw. I didn't even know. We just stumbled upon this path. Actually, there are some um, Asian restaurants like bubble tea or some Vietnamese food. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I just really like um, how many cafes there are on this street, just off Naui Suyat. Um, there's cool street. Bit of a laneway vibe, got a lot of coffee shops. Um, a lot of big boutique stores too, so it's pretty cool. Definitely highly recommend walking down this street. And as nighttime approached, we quickly googled where we could eat some yummy dinner close by. Because as per usual, we were starving. I'm still hungry. I need more Polish food. And what we found is called Ba Bambino. And I'll show you what's inside. Oh, Polish food is just love. So good. What are we having? Okay, we're having prodogi and we also have, I think Rachel's having a soup. The cool thing about these milk bars is that you actually go up first, you pay, you choose your meals, and then you go up to another little section, give them the receipt, and then your meal gets served to you, you can sit down. It's pretty different. So how much was that then? So this one ended up being 13.55. So we'll I really like milk bars. They're a really interesting, fun experience when you're here in Warsaw. I also got myself a kefir, and they have these things everywhere, and I love it because it's impossible almost to get in, in Australia, so I really love these fermented um, bacterial drinks. Yeah, really I'm good. curious of the uh, culture behind. Mm. Why is it so popular in yeah, Poland? It seems very popular. In fact, yogurt seems popular in Europe so far from what we've noticed, but yeah, really dig this. Pierogi seems so strange. I've seen this actually in the other um, travel videos and I was like, oh, the food looks interesting. But it's kind of, I feel kind of risky to try something that is totally different from what I'm used to. But give it a go. Already I can feel the sour, sour food kind of... It's not bad at all. Mm. Nice pizza soup. It's really yummy. Mm, it's got I don't know. For me, pierogi always tastes a bit like um, tuna. Even though it must be different meat, I feel like it's kind of like tuna. Surprisingly, beetroot and perogi works. Strange. I was worried because it looks very greasy. I thought it's gonna be like very oily, and which I don't really, really like because I'm not a fan of Chinese food. But <coughs> so good. It's really, really yummy. Um, it's just perfect amount of sourness, 
um, it looks like a red wine. Don't you think? Yeah, it looks like red wine. It's like a red wine, but just normal pure beetroot and nothing else. Okay, this is my third time in Poland trying pedogi. Um, so I'm really wondering what it tastes like. They're quite big, probably the biggest ones I've had maybe. Mm. It took a while to get that pedogi. Mm. It took a while I think because they made this one fresh. I think it was a fresh batch. Um, it's so funny, it's, it's almost like the filling of pierogi is very creamy. Um, I think they mash up the meat so much, so there's no chunks. It's, and that's why it's got like a tuna consistency to it. It really looks like it. I don't think it tastes like tuna as much as it feels like tuna in your mouth. But it's almost got a sausage roll kind of mixture in there. More, more, I think. Mm. This one really, to me, tastes probably the most like a sausage roll um, as a dumpling. Uh, very yummy. This restaurant seems the most exotic place I've ever visited in my life. You have to get the ticket to get your food done, and like they're just the Polish women, they're making food. I feel this place is very authentic. You must come here, it's really cool. Thanks you for watching, guys. Give this video a like if you liked it, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.